Okay. Performing first time setup for Viscera cleaning detail. So you're not going to switch to a fun guy. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to, I wanted to make that clear. I'm, I'm sticking. <laughs> I'm sticking with the spring cleaning bit for a little bit longer, just for. We'll just see if this is any fun. Of course it's not. This game's a joke. <laughs> it's literally what it says it is. I thought it was a game, too. I don't think it is. I think it's a game. I think it's just a joke. Oh, then I might have made a horrible mistake. I, I really, I think you did. I think you literally just clean up the gore. There's no game involved? No. It's a joke. It's a ha-ha. Somebody has to clean up after the, the aliens go on the rampage in the space station. Ha ha. Uh, we'll see about that. No. Full screen mode. Let's see if we can get better resolution. Let's, let's go at least 1080. That messes up everything. Perfect. So let's not do that. We've already lost chat. Oh, that's okay. You couldn't read it anyway. That's true. <clears throat> All right. Good. All right. Dr. Lubidup says, As an Australian, I am frequently baffled by Americans' attitudes to swearing. Like, why is shit considered worse than crap? Can you help me understand? No, I can't. No. Because I'm, I'm with you. It's just old rules passed down from older rules this passed is, down from older rules. This is, this is what you get from a country that was formed by a bunch of fucking Puritans who, who left England because they wanted to be even more strict. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. They're like and everyone. Everyone's here is just a little too, a little too loose with the rules. Okay. Different. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Should I put the body in here? What do you think? Probably should. Does it wait, 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 wait. Go back to the machine. You probably put it in the top and it grinds things. Oh, that's it. Is there a button to turn it on? No, I just missed. He's in there. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. You could be wrong. I probably should have. They're getting mad at you for tracking the blood everywhere. Oh my god! Oh, oh, my mop's all bloody. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Rich. I know. God, I am. I'm getting blood everywhere. Oh, here's my bucket. Okay. There we go. Don't worry, guys. I found my bucket. All right. Spring cleaning. This is great. We're gonna spruce this space station right up. Look at this. Ah, it's great. Nope. Blood. What is this? Slosh. Oh, a slosh o -matic. Oh, I can get more buckets this way. Great. We're gonna get the space station super clean. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I spilled my bucket. I can take it with me. <laughs> look at me. I look at me. I'm working smarter, not harder. Okay, let go. <clears throat> ah, all right. 
So, anyway, what were we talking about? What's happening? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we, were too, we were far too engrossed in the game. To figure out how to... Hot Pants says, is S3 of, season 3 of Rick and Morty, that phrase, am I evil, worse, you're smart. For me, it was so cringeworthy that make me drop the show. What kind of moment made you give up a show or movie? Um. I don't know if there's, oh, fuck. I don't know if there's any, like, specific phrase. You know, um, the mouse and keyboard aren't really working for me. Really? Do we have the, uh... Um... Uh, <clears throat> controller? Probably maybe? somewhere in... If a controller even works. <clears throat> so did any specific moment make you give up a show? Uh... Probably... Perfect! <laughs> Great. I'm sorry, I don't have an answer for you right now. both of your opinions have lost. How much did it being made up all along bother you? I called that from the beginning. That's why I never watched Lost. <laughs> uh, while there was a couple things that bothered me about the ending of Lost... Overall, it was a show about the characters, and I felt like the character resolution was uh, good. Okay. You know, obviously, yeah, they dropped the ball on so many plot lines and story threads and whodunits that uh, that'll get you a little upset. Uh, just as a just as a, a a fan of you know decent writing, what was it at the end of season two where uh, where they find the giant statue, and then uh, you know the, the the one guy says, "I'm less concerned with the fact that it's a giant statue and more concerned with the fact that it has only four toes." Dun dun dun! Like that was like the last line of the big season two season finale. Yeah. Never brought up again. Just not even. Yeah. Not even. Not even I, I called that. <laughs> but like I said, it's about the characters, and uh, I liked what they did with the characters. So I was happy with that. Happy with the character resolution. Nanva <laughs> says, "Jack, what do there? school kids like these days?" I find it interesting that everyone's entertainment has fragmented among Netflix slash YouTube instead of following one half weekly sh one to two weekly shows like when I was growing up. Uh, yeah, you know the YouTube YouTube stars, YouTube celebrities are huge. Yeah. Uh, that should be a surprise to no one. What do your kids like? That was the question. I think that's what they want to know. You don't have to tell them what your kids like, but I believe that's what the question is. Oh sure. Um, what are they? What are they watching now? They watch. Uh, they watch a lot of you know like Cartoon Network shows, uh, Teen Titans Go, Unikitty, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know what they just found actually? What? Uh, and they're super excited about is <laughs> okay. So this is a real thing. So nine and six, right? Uh -huh. They just found America's Funniest Home Videos. Okay, so they probably love it. It's you know it's an hour of people getting kicked in the nuts. They, <laughs> they as far as they are concerned, no other entertainment exists. This yeah. is all yeah. that matters to them. Where the hell did they discover America's Funniest Home Videos? It was like on Hulu or something. Like the new season is yeah. on Hulu or something. Did they or? just browse Hulu? 
How do they discover these things? They're, they're six and nine. Yeah, they, yeah. Like they're, they they were going to Hulu to watch like a Cartoon Network okay, show. Okay, okay. And, and you know because of the algorithm, Hulu says, "Oh, you might also like this show." And they they're like, "AFV," and maybe they were out of new episodes of Teen Titans or whatever. So like, oh yeah, we'll watch this one. And Does Teen Titans get you recommended episodes of America's Funniest Home Videos? Yeah, apparently. Or you know whatever. You know how the algorithm works. It spits out random shit. But, so they just discovered that, and, and yeah, they are... But how do I get rid of my bucket? You probably put it in the bucket machine, or some other machine you put it in? Ah, here we go. I bet I put it in there. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> there. God damn it. Cause now I've got all these buckets laying around. I probably can't throw that out. Ugh. But I can like I can tell you like after school, the kids you know I I hear the kids talking and they are talking about YouTube stars going to see their favorite U YouTube star you know who's coming live or whatever right? Mm. Uh, that's that's all it is now is oh oh oh, oh. well I guess I have to throw that out too. Do 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 do. Whatever that is. Sorry, guy. Alright. Come on, you. Go into the incinerator. You go. How about you? I, I hope that doesn't blow up. Okay. And your legs, too. Go. Actually, this is, this is, um, fairly zen. I'm, a, I'm actually a little okay with this. Jack, what do your kids think about your YouTube job? Uh, they, they're just excited. Uh, Herbert Fig. What? Bye. Uh, they're just excited when I bring when I start playing a new video game that they can watch. They don't. They, I don't think it, it, it quite sinks in. Uh, what I do yet. I don't know if you missed something, but I'm reading a comment. Oh, look, the only interesting part of the game. Down the memory hole. Oh, I did. I just threw away something that had a name on it. Oh, well, listen, it's my first time playing. I did. I threw, I threw something away. I just threw something away that apparently I was not supposed to throw away. Okay. So, sorry. Uh, I got a job to do. My job is to clean up. Sorry. That I take my job seriously. Uh, sorry, not sorry. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Herbert Fig. Oh, see, here's another. Here's another thing. Marina Delwood. Eh. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't fucking know. Oh shit, I lost it. Where'd it go? Right on the top of the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah, I got it. Uh, well, jukebox, I could turn on some music. Oh, here, I'll, I'll put you here for now so we don't lose you. Some more bodies to take care of. Turn on some tunes while we work, how about that? Oh shit. You go back on here. Uh, there. Turn on some tuners. Tuner. Nice. There we go. Now we're rocking. I've been listening to this while playing a game and just looked up. What the fuck is Jack playing? This is ridiculous. Uh, this is a game called Viscera Cleanup Detail. Yes. Where you clean up the space base after Doom happened, basically. Yeah, yeah. After after the, the after the video game happens and all the corpses are left lying around, somebody's got to clean it up for the next player, and that's me. 
because spring cleaning. This game looks like a uh, a uh, Futurama or Rick and Morty gag. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a gag. It's 31 degrees in Milwaukee. That's that's what I said, Karen. That's exactly what I said. It didn't matter. It's still the first day of spring. Just because it's cold. Get rid of some of my buckets here. I keep tracking it all over the place, and I see that now. And Sorry, gonna, whoa, whoa. Okay, here I'm gonna work on this hallway uh, first. You do, you do, you do. I'm gonna. I have, a, I have a plan here. I have a cleanup plan. All right, we're gonna just start from a corner. We're gonna work our way to. Maybe I should do it from the other way, just because that's where I get my buckets from. This machine is where I get my buckets from. So that should probably be the last place to clean up. There's hard drives all over the place. I gotta see. I think I hit. I hit. Do you guys have anything in them? I can see rooms with uh, like that need access cards, but I haven't seen any access look at, cards. Look at all of those footprints. Oh Jesus, Crips! Look at all of those footprints. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of amazing. It, you know. It's kind of. I do what I can. I need, I need my new bucket. Oh my god, it's all footprints. Well, all of the mess, all of the mess is from you. Mm. You put all buckets in like the other. S can you dispose of that in like the bucket thing on the other side? Does it? No, I only get buckets from that. I only get buckets from that. Okay, so that means this area needs to be the the last area clean. Do we need That's not a bucket. Alright, gently. Slowly. Alright, I need to start cleaning from this side of the room, not from the bucket side of the room. Move my bucket very slowly. So so we're gonna have one area nice and clean. So we're just gonna put you over there for I think you could put those in like empty buckets. Yeah, and yeah. then you're not making more of a mess on the floor when you put them down. Yeah, well, there's all these like small bits that I'm gonna put in empty buckets. If you had like a, a bucket, you could put all these in rather yeah. than dropping them on the floor first. Well, I'm just mo I'm moving them so I can, <laughs> so I can clean, so I can mop over there first. You know. <laughs> what are you? Oh. See, this is what I needed. A disposal bin. So then all the things can go in the bin. See? There we go. There we go. Now now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. I've just made a huge important discovery. We've also made a huge mess. Well, I haven't mopped yet. Look at this. This is really working out great. I, I actually I feel really good about this. Like those little intestine bits. Put that in there. Yes, I've made a huge mess. Weren't you a butcher, man? How are you this bad at cleaning? Oh look. Being being a, a meat cutter is all about making a mess. Cl Someone else comes in to clean up. No, I usually clean. At the but at the end of the night, yeah, you don't you don't worry about like keeping a clean area while you're cutting because there's no use to that. I I had the same job and oh god, is the meat cutting room a fucking mess at the end of the day? Oh yeah, unbelievable fucking mess. Oh, are you kidding? Like a after after we locked the doors, there was an additional two hours of just spick and span in that whole fucking place. It's, it's so bad at this one store I worked at where I I. When I cleaned up at night, I literally, I just went and put a garbage bag on. Put three holes in, two holes in my arm, one for my head, and just head to toe, because you're going to 
spray everything down. Oh yeah, it was so bad. No, no, and and you know bleach and <laughs> and cleaner and water and yeah, oh it, it's nuts. All right, oh, yeah, look at this. We are rocking this. You literally hose the room down when you're done. Yes, yes, literally. Hey, Rich, is Runic Pyramid worth getting and Slay the Spire? Uh, depends upon what your, what your strats are, what your build is. Like, if you're relying on Fire Fiend, it's great. Did we all bail and into the breach? Too simple? I'm not gonna say too simple, but I will say I did bail on it. Yeah, kind of. Bloodborne took its place. I got it. Is the base is the basics of it? Is yeah, I got it. Bows. I'm gonna have one fucking clean area. Why, if I may ask? Why what? Why we... I'm assuming, why did we stop playing Into the Breach? Yeah. Is there other things I wanted to play instead? It's not rocket science. Dishonored. Ah! You fuck! Ah! Had my bin, Rich. My bin was full of things. Dishonored, Bloodborne, Slay the Spire. A lot of things took precedence over into the breach. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> By the time Jack is done, the entire room is going to be red. I'm sure there's an achievement for that. Make a bigger mess. No, I'm. I. I, I have. Look, I have a clean air. Well. <laughs> I'm going to have a clean area. Okay, need a new bucket. I'm going to have a clean area. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Right. Right. I'm going to be... The Jackson Pollock School of Janitorial Work. Not bad. bag set look like after the Evil Dead episode. It it is it is you know Are those bullet casings you gotta pick up on the floor? Oh yeah. I'm wondering actually I'm wondering if I have any like spackle. Like what's you? What's it called? The MuckGyver? MuckGyver. Muck. MuckGyver. Oh it shows me where the messes are. So it's just it's all over the place. It's just going crazy all the time. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Great. I got a little broomy thing. That just does not help me at all. Well, if you push them towards a bucket, might make them less inconvenient to pick up. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna continue with our mop adventure. We're gonna, we, we 
have our little, our, our nice little area over here that we're working on. Somebody's saying under the door, Jack. I don't know what they're referring to. Sweep the bullets under the door? Uh, no, that that would just be creating a problem for someone else, and I'm not that type of person. I am here to clean up. I will clean up. Thank you. Maybe you can lever up your mop? I you think we could do that? I don't know. That would be sweet. I don't know? That would be sweet ass. The Steam page says there's split-screen co-op for this. Rich could be kicking Jack's ass right now. Eh. <laughs> it's fine. Cool. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ooh, quick select. I got a weapon quick select. Oops, the wop. Alright, that's looking good. That's looking good. I'm feeling comfortable about all the bullets in uh, in our bin. Just going to general garbage pick up here. There we go. Pick up some of the general garbage before we take on more mop work. But you know, like look, we have a clean area over there. Just don't walk through the bus. Huh? You should mop yourself a path. Well, my feet are gonna get dirty no matter what, so I just need to, I just need to work, no matter what, I need to work, you know, towards the bucket distributor, right? Okay. So right now I'm working, I'm, uh, the next area is to the stairs here, then I'll go into and do the stairs. Okay. But, you know, as long as I'm, I'm over here, might as well pick up some trash, because you gotta pick up the trash first, right? Oh, here's what I can do. The only, the only downside is, of course, um, our bin giver router is over here, right? Our, our, uh, our bin receptacle. So all the garbage we need to pick up, we, so we need to concentrate on garbage. Look at this crap. Animals, Rich. A bunch of animals. Can you, be Can you believe all these animals? Great. Anonymous says, Richard Jack, Shit, after watching Man of Steel the first time, I have to agree with Don Beveridge. Supermen destroy businesses. That's, uh, Supermen destroy people. That's true. Okay, it's true. I can't, I can't argue with that. I don't think Don Beveridge was a, a Man of Steel fan yet, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's true. Don Beveridge. True Blue Review says, Hey guys, three channels I follow recently started a TV stream where they have all of their videos play in a randomized playlist on a loop 24-7. You think RLM TV would be a good idea? Well, can't you just watch videos? Can't you do that anyway? Yeah. <laughs> just make a playlist. And you can, I think you can even like randomize the playlist. Get out of here. All right. We are moving forward, not, we're not doing great in cleaning up this level. I need to say that. And by we, I mean me, I do mean me. I'm taking responsibility for this. Over here, because I made a little bit more of a mess. Really? But but I'm I'm getting there, Rich. I'm getting there. <laughs> Come here, other bucket. Go back in the fire. I'm working on it. Bits Train Eleven says, "Use this tip to tell everyone watching about the new Netflix TV hotness on my block. It's a great coming of age show, equal to but very different from Stranger Things. It's funny, charming, and edgy." Edgy! Okay, I know literally nothing about it. Great. Neither. Oh, God. What? 
here on this, in the chat saying, clean it up, clean it, clean it, clean it, clean, clean it up. Ha ha ha! Karen gets it. Yeah, yeah. Karen gets it! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Load up all the buckets, clean it up. <laughs> Spraying on some Mop it in your fucking face, clean it up! the body up here earlier, so I actually got my machine dirty. Uh, that's okay, we took care of it. Alright, alright, hey, now. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> oh, 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 fuck, I have one... Anonymous says, Peter Parker inventing his web shooters is stupid. Biological web shooters was better. I hope you read this, Rich. It's only a joke. Okay. Yeah, obvious joke is obvious. Uh. We're supposed to get triggered. Oh, were we? Well, it's a joke, so maybe not really. Yeah, not really. <clears throat> so, hey, look at this. See this? Yeah. Clean. Unless I'm supposed to do something with these barrels. But we'll we'll deal with that later. No garbage. Well, I want to know what that machine does. This one? Yeah. It gives me bins. Unless you have a footstep. Uh, yeah. This one gi this right. one gives me yellow bins. I hit it and I get a yellow bin. Okay. So I know what that one does now. There's one there's actually oh. I found it. Oh, oh shit. Okay, it was clean. It was <laughs> clean. We can get it clean again. That's okay. <laughs> Clean again. You go in the fire. You go in the fire. All right. Bucket me. What's wrong with the organic web shooters? Uh, they make Peter Parker creepy. The character who's supposed to be relatable shouldn't be creepy. That's my personal take on it. You can feel however you want about it. Yeah. Why that blood stain? Yeah, the the biological web shooters was definitely added a creep factor. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I I, I think I, I understand. Is Gorilla Grodd relatable, Ridge? A uh, Gorilla Grodd isn't supposed to be. Uh, yeah, well, one, he's a villain. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Where did that blood spatter? I disagree. Does Logan having claws make him creepy? Wolverine isn't supposed to be relatable. No, Wolverine is the is the loner outsider. Loner bad, outsider yeah. badass. Yeah. He's uh, Wolverine is not the everyman in your story. That's what Cyclops is for. And really, the part of the deal with any of the X Men is. Yes, having some, having having a bodily function that's extraordinary <laughs> is weird, and it makes them outcasts. That's the that's actually the, one of the points of the X Men comics. They look and act different. We should be afraid of them. Fuck yeah, I'm rocking it now. Spidey's still sticky, though. Yeah, but visually, he's a normal human being. He doesn't have some kind of weird spinneret thing coming out of his wrist that shoots goo. Yeah. <clears throat> Spider-Man's grippy hair things was creepier in the webbing. What's well, the movie? The only place Spider-Man's had hair or sticky hair is the, the Sam Raimi movie. I mean, Like, I... how would that even work through the costume? It wouldn't... R well, right, and I, like that was, uh, of course, just the movie trying to, trying to, you know, find some sort of rationalization for him sticking to walls, right? Mm. 
There we go. Alright, hey, we are getting cleaner and cleaner over here. The, the reasoning for Peter Parker not selling his web fluid is because that would give away his secret identity. Yeah. Uh, and and also like remember the whole Spider-Man thing is he began his career as Spider-Man profiting off of his power. Yes. But yes, that's true too. But he but he learned a lesson about that. Maybe a little bit too harshly. I mean, he's he's, he's gone from one extreme to the other, Jack. But that's true. Maybe you need to find some middle ground, Spider-Man. If you're going to resolve Peter Parker's story, that would that would be the end of it. Find some middle ground. He finds a piece. He lets go of the guilt. Yeah, yeah. That's the final Spider-Man story. It's not Spider-Man has to die heroically. Ooh. As we talked about last stream, as I talked about last stream, not not every resolution to a story has to be a stream of endless death. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, but a, you know, a little, it, a little it, death. It can just be Peter Parker making peace with his past. Yeah, yeah. You need a, you need a, you need a, you need drama, Rich. Rich, are you excited for the Venom movie? Is anybody excited for the Venom movie? I don't even think fucking Tom Hardy's excited for the Venom movie. <laughs> and that dude's starring in it. I, by the way, I think it's great that they have incorporated bloody footprints into the cleanup game. I think that's really hilarious. But also... Oh, hey, look at look at that! Look at that! Glorious! You're doing great, Jack. I feel... I, I, I do feel a slight sense of accomplishment. I'm gonna move my, my caution sign to right here so I know not to go past this line unless I have clean feet. But Peter Parker could do so much more for the world as a, a billionaire philanthropist. I'm... I've been out of comics for over a decade, but isn't that exactly what they're doing with Peter Parker in the comics right now? That's exactly what they're doing with Peter Parker in the comics. Okay. Right now. Yes. Yeah, Parker Industry. He is now a billionaire philanthropist, and actually, uh, I have I've read a couple issues where, or it's maybe it's just one issue. It's it's a really fun issue, and it's it's like so, some guy that was an, like a B-list or C, D-list Spider-Man villain a long time ago, got out of prison and was going through some rough times and was about to like revert to his life of crime. Mm. But Spider-Man stopped him like before he was about to rob a bank and was like, whoa, guy, <laughs> we, you don't have to do this. Like you can get a job. No one's going to hire me because I'm an ex-con. And he, he gives the the guy a, a Parker Industries business card. Okay. And it's like, C go there work for them they they're looser about higher and like he actually did go out of his way to stop a criminal from repeating the cycle you know unlike another superhero who just likes to punch <laughs> bad guys over and over again uh so yeah no i've 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 read some, what villain oh, oh, i don't remember that much it, it was it was something like it wasn't the shocker, but it was something like someone who made a shocker suit or something, you know? Yeah. Who had mild technical skills. Somebody's saying Peter Parker is broke again. And working at the Daily Bugle. God damn it, they can't... They well, can't well, well, Duh! Duh! Yeah! You know... It'd be nice to have a character move, but yeah. I mean, you know, you know that was Peter Parker's perpetual fate after they had a Satan dissolve his marriage. I remember that. Crazy times. Marvel's not gonna let any actual character development happen. That would be silly. What happens if I put a barrel in a fire? Am I supposed to put these in a fire? Let's see what happens. Huh. 
version or a Batman episode where Bruce tries to give the ventriloquist a job? Uh, I think I think Jack is having fun. I was having a little bit of fun, being a little bit of hi uh, being a little bit hyperbolic. Yeah. Uh, as I'm sure there are many instances in which Batman has actually gone out of his way, and you guys know that I love. You guys know that I fucking love Batman the animated series, uh, and so that Batman is generally not the Batman I refer to when I'm being negative to Batman. Like, how is the Daily Bugle still a thing in Marvel Comics? And how are they hiring anyone? Right, like newspaper photographer. Didn't they turn? Didn't they turn uh, like <laughs> Superman into a blogger? <laughs> like Superman doesn't work for the Daily Planet anymore. He's a blogger now. <sighs> oh! Oh! Fu oh! Fuck! Guts and entrails. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. I got a guts and entrails problem. Be very careful with the guts and entrails, because uh, they spilled more blood. Shotgun shells are nice. Get in there. And, you know, like, I get it. I get, like, going back to the well and going back to, like, you know, what makes the character work? You know, oh, people don't like Spider-Man as a as a billionaire philanthropist. Uh, you know, people like the old Spider-Man, so we're going to make him poor again. But, you know, fuck, people are different now. <laughs> Maybe we just want to change. The Great artist Neil Breen in the chat says the non canonical Spider Man comic where his marriage is not dissolved was outselling Amazing Spider Man. So they ended Parker Industries and made him broke again to reset for the new writer that will be taking over this year. Oh, great. Mm. Fucking great. Nothing matters. It doesn't, it doesn't There's an matter. obvious lesson there, and I, I think they missed it. <laughs> I think they missed it. The non-canonical -can Spider-Man where he was still married. Where some some fragment of, of character development that wasn't going to get erased happened. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, in response to that, they once again erased... <laughs> ...giant... A stack of character development. All right, no, I get it. I get it. I think that's a bold choice. Bold choice. Well, there's nothing more relatable than somebody who works as a newspaper photographer. <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Right? That's what. That's always been my dream. I was a newspaper photographer for my high school newspaper. That was my job. Mostly it was an excuse to get out of class and leave school whenever I wanted. Because I could go and leave school to get photos developed. Because we needed photos to get developed at that point. We didn't have digital cameras. Okay. Fire. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Ah. Uh. Should make Peter Parker a computer programmer. But his specialty is chemistry. Maybe someone doesn't know things about Peter Parker. That's why he's able to make his web fluid. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah. and like, he could be a computer programmer because he's just generally smart also. But, yeah, he's, he's like a, he's like a science science nerd. Like the science part of science. Dual major all the time. Yeah, but I don't think he's ever shown any computer aptitude before ever anywhere. 
I mean, I, I bet he knows his way around a Windows operating oh, sure, system. Sure, sure. Wait, what was that comment? They should make him a web developer? Was that a joke? Oh, that might have been a joke. Oh, uh, or I'm so no, sorry. No, wait, I don't think they said web developer. I think they said computer or something. Oh, okay. They should make him a web de developer. Because, like, Spider-Man, he makes yeah. webs. Yeah. Could be now. Briefly a teacher. That's not the worst occupation for Peter Parker. Other than the obvious time constraints that would that would eat up all of your Spider-Man time. Right. But, but a man who had a troubled youth getting a job where he helps kids? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, how do I get up there? I mean, is it any more improbable that he gets into programming and becomes a billionaire? Well, I'm not, I'm not an advocate of billionaire Peter Parker. Like I said, I haven't been reading the comics in ten years, so I have, I have no strong opinions there. On billionaire Peter Parker? Yeah. I think the fact that I haven't read a comic book in over ten years that that, that revokes my right to bitch about things they do in the comics. Yeah. Like, like, it's been a decade. I can... I can just leave them alone now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! I'm finally free! <laughs> I mean, you can tell me Peter Parker's a janitor now, and I'll just go, okay. Okay. Peter Parker's a janitor. Hey, you know what? Like, actually, that wouldn't be the worst job for him. Yeah. Clean it up pretty fast, probably work nights, you know, work a uh, flexible uh, schedule there. Not the worst job for a superhero to be a janitor. No one notices the janitor. He's got keys to a lot of buildings. Yeah. That, if I'm writing Spider- oh no, not- oh god damn, not there. If I'm writing Spider-Man, that's my twist. He becomes a janitor. Was there one event that got me out of comics? It was- no, it was long and s a slow loss of interest. Um, but it was like event overload, right? Like it was things kept well, th changing. That <sighs> it was just them doing things I thought were stupid. It was there's there were there were two things that were kind of like other than just the general slow loss of interest over time. Yeah. There were there were two things that really just were the final nails in the coffin. Okay. But it was it was waning interest before this even happened. Um, the other storyline in Spider-Man which was just stupid and nonsense and whenever you have uh, one single story with six artists and six different writers it's gonna be crap uh -huh. I, I stopped reading Spider-Man then but I kept my I, I, I kept my feelers out sure and then uh, the Civil War happened right yeah and Peter Parker's identity is revealed and like that's a really interesting direction to take Peter Parker it really was I'm I'm back in yeah I'm gonna start reading Spider-Man again Oh, oh, no, no, we all, we, uh, Satan undid it. <laughs> Satan undid all that. Yep. And, um, uh, oh, fuck it, I'm gone. <laughs> Satan, Satan undid it. Yep. Not just the, that, either. The other, which was just stupid, and then, uh, one more day was the final... <laughs> yep. Can I be real with everyone uh, here for a second? I'm kind of super into this game. Okay. I think this is uh, this is something that uh, I could totally be down with. It's of course it's absurd, and I get it. That's a little bit of a joke, but there is an actual game structure here. And, and it's a little satisfying cleaning up an area. 
As as much as like cleaning up any area is, is satisfying, right? Like just cleaning can be satisfying. Was well, Sin's past also a factor? Was that the Goblin Babies? <laughs> look, because then yes, Goblin Babies. Look, look, Marvel had a history for like for like fifteen years. They kept trying to get me to stop reading Spider-Man. They would they would continuously try to just just completely ruin it for me. And I like Spider-Man enough. But eventually, when it, it, like, oh, maybe I'll come back. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I really like Spider-Man. Oh, these old Roger Stern 80s issues. Oh, they're so amazing. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this old Ditko and, and Stan Lee run. Oh, 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 Clone Saga? Oh, the character I like? That wasn't really... Ah. Oh. Okay, the Clone Saga's done. All right, well, we're getting... Peter Parker's back. Oh, okay. Oh, John Bryan's just, just writing garbage? Uh... <laughs> oh, this JMS run. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind the magic stuff. He's handling it kind of well. Oh, Goblin Babies. <laughs> uh... Marvel would repeatedly try to get me to stop reading the character. Every time they had a jumping on point, it was a jumping off point for me. Goblin Babies? Oh, Gwen Stacy had sex with Norman Osborn, and she had rapidly aging children who grew up and fought Peter Parker. Perfectly normal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite subgenre of comics. <laughs> is Goblin Babies. Yeah, Gwen Stacy had had rapidly aging Goblin Babies with Norman Osborn. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Well, no, you probably didn't, you probably... <laughs> the Clone Saga was what got me to stop reading Spider- Oh, I stopped cold during the Clone Saga, but I came back when it was over. JMS's plan was to do all these weird plots like the other and Sin's past with the intent to retcon it at the end. <laughs> Isn't JMS too good a writer to do something stupid like that? Also, that seems like a really shitty plan. Yeah, I... Uh... Let's do all this wacky, crazy stuff and then say nope. Did Rich not dabble in Ultimate Spider-Man at all? Oh, Ultimate Spider-Man was frequently a safe haven when the regular universe Spider-Man was right? terrible. Oh, it was good for a while. Up and up and up until fucking Brian Bendis ruined that shit by just making it too fucking miserable. Brian Bendis, I, I really think, can be a very good writer. But he's also kind of a, a new guard. He's a new generation of writer mm -hmm. that feels the need to exponentially escalate everything and it became miserable to read it became it became it where there was a major event happening every three issues uh-huh and yeah it was yeah. it was it was too much just too much too much all the time all the fucking time and you know you know he gets who does he get now he gets superman He's doing a Superman run. He'll now? ruin that eventually. He ruins everything eventually. Well, it's yeah, and it sounds like he's gonna he, he's gonna start really strong. Look, get those first like 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 he frequently does. Yeah, those first ten issues of the new Superman, I bet are gonna be fucking amazing. <laughs> and then something's gonna happen because that guy cannot live unless there's a crisis happening. Fucking Bendis. He makes good stuff, but then ruins it quickly. I hope he doesn't kill Clark's kid. Oh, it might not be him. You know that's gonna happen sooner or later. You think they're gonna let Superman have a kid? What? Do, what do you we... think they're not gonna revert to the status quo at some point? Peter Parker couldn't even keep a job. DC's <laughs> DC's specialty is fucking destroying their own universe because they want to revert to a new status quo. <laughs> you can't count on any kind of character development. No. Unless it's a power. 
Unless it's a superpower. Usually, sometimes superpowers stay. Right? Do you think Superman's kid is going to stay? God, no. In one universe somewhere, but no. They'll... Satan's gonna undo it sooner or later. Who's DC Satan? <laughs> is it just Satan? <laughs> or is Ares gonna come and undo it? They have Mistopheles yeah, something. Something. I mean. Something. They got something, I'm sure. It's Raven's dad. Oh yeah, he might be the king of demons. He might be yeah. he might be Satan. He might be actual Satan. Raven's dad. He's great in Teen Titans Go. <laughs> Remember, readership for DC has never recovered since the death and return of Superman 25 years ago. That has less to do with the death of the Superman more than it has to do with the the death of the comic book industry. <laughs> yeah, and... It's not that story's fault. It, it didn't help. Rem remember also, the, the, the real thing that quote-unquote killed comics wasn't even what killed comics. People only say comics died because for a while there, the, the comic industry was artificially yeah. inflated yeah. due to the speculator market. Comics have always been an incredibly small industry, but then some kid sold his issue of Superman for a hundred thousand dollars, yeah. and everybody thought comic books were going to be an investment, and they weren't. Because and they were. <laughs> when you make a million copies of something, it's going to be worth nothing. Right. And so then the the industry was artificially inflated. Yes. And then when everyone realized it was a bad investment, it just went yeah. back to where it was. But now it's a huge, it, everything is a huge loss. Somebody's pointing out that it'd be much quicker just to put those directly into the incinerator. <laughs> I had a flow. I had, a, I had my. I had my put things in the bin flow, you know. I didn't even. I got t I got cleaning tunnel vision, Rich. And uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, whoever pointed that out, thank you. But little little cleaning tunnel vision there. Doing good. The Spider-Man hologram covers were cool. They also inflated the price of the comic book by like four times. And helped crash the industry. Yay! Crash the industry. I don't think they Well yeah. I mean, kinda. No, like I said, I, I think comic books have always been a niche market. And they're, for a little bit, they thought they could go mainstream, and they really didn't. And even now, when the biggest movies in the world are comic book movies, still not a lot of people care about comic books. And that's an okay thing. They're just always going to be at this level. And we have to be comfortable with that. But Batman still has Damien. Well, yeah, but... Here's the thing, when 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 the writers get sick of Damien, it's okay for Batman to neglect his kids. Yeah, he, he has a pattern. They can get away with that with Batman. Yeah. When when the writers don't want Superman to have a kid, they're gonna have to erase him. Yeah. Superman's kind of a good guy. Well, at least he should be. And uh So yeah, he he can't he can't pull a Dick Grayson and just you know leave him leave him for his own. Where are you? Oh, you're a jumpy. Oh, that, oh, I'm gonna need you later. Nice, nice. <laughs> Damien has taken over for Raj in the Batman Beyond comics. That makes sense. I never, like, the, I, I can't, like I said, I'm not allowed to complain because I don't read comic books. Right. But 
I never much liked the idea of Damian Wayne anyway. <laughs> he was the Damian Wayne for anyone who doesn't know. Damian Wayne was the uh, unknown child of Bruce Wayne and Tal Talia Al Ghul. I don't like Talia Al Ghul in general. Oh. I hate that pairing. Okay. Like like Batman in a relationship with the accomplice to a genocidal maniac. I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. It's off-putting. Carefully. Carefully. So Talia Al Ghul, not one of my favorite characters. Well, in some stories, have she, has she been kind of like against her father? Not strong enough. <laughs> this man wants to kill millions of people. Yeah. I know. Oh, right, right. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. But I could, I could see the case for like, you know, Bruce, join me, and together we can slowly, we can slowly change the way, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, I, I agree. Uh, she's not the best. She's not the best. I don't know if there necessarily is a best for Batman. Because, you know... Man's a, a big sack of sad. Now Batman is marrying Catwoman. Another change that won't stick around. Uh, what did I call... Fucking hell. What did I call last stream? I don't remember. I want to say... I think I called six months. Yeah. Or six issues, yeah. basically. I, I called... Uh, 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 by, by the sixth issue... Uh, that relationship will be done. It, it's, it's just a better match for him than Talia Al Ghul. But... Not... Not gonna last. No. Nothing can last. Nothing can last. different comic haters. Batman is marrying Catwoman after having a relationship with Batgirl. I guarantee he will eventually have a relationship with Harley. Oh, that would be the worst. That would be the worst. In the new movie, doesn't Harley fuck Robin? What? In the in the cartoon movie? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I the, haven't seen it. The, the, the movie Harley Quinn and Batman? Like, Harley fucks Robin. Wait, did Batman have a relationship with Batgirl in the comics? They could just be referencing the, the Killing Joke cartoon. Yeah, that's that's my question. That's my question. Did Batman have a relationship with Batgirl in the comics, or is that just the cartoon? The Killing Joke movie. That doesn't count. Oh, I know. Different thing. Be excited about this? I, <laughs> I am. <laughs> you don't have to be. But I am. 
Joe Bag of Donuts says. Joe with Bag of Donuts. Please don't let Jet. Please don't let Jack pick any more games. Yay! <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Fuck. I'm here. I'm part of the team. You Mit can't stop that. Mit you one says, guys, this is way better than Serial Cleaner. Yes. Pro tip. You can activate a turbo cleaning mode, which increases your speed by 150% by pressing Alt F4. Keep up the good work. I know that joke, by the way. I know the Alt F4 joke. I'm aware of that joke. Uh, you know why? Because I'm on the internet, and I see things on the internet, so that joke does not work on me, friend. And I don't appreciate it. Alt F4 closes the game. I know that, because I know what Alt F4 does. Who do you think? Who do you think I am? Some, 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 uh, some everyday rube? <laughs> get, get right out of town. <laughs> uh, I'm having a great time actually playing this game. So, so weird. It is, because it is it's like it's it's just cleaning your house, but yeah, that's yeah, fine. I would have I would have been amused briefly. Yeah, I'd be over it by now. This uh, this ticks all the right. All the right marks for me. This just ticks all the right marks for me. Easy peasy Japanese says Jack. I what know, up? I know that you were a fan of Team Fortress 2. I am. Do you prefer the cast of Team Fortress 2 or Overwatch? I personally pref I personally greatly prefer TF2 because I feel as if Overwatch takes itself too seriously. But how do you feel? Hmm. Take stuff too seriously, you know. I, I think what you have here is two very different worlds. Is it? yeah, they Overwatch does take itself a little more seriously, but I'm also okay with that. Overwatch, uh, I would say, actually has characters, whereas TF2 has caricatures. Okay. Uh, which is and both are fine. I think both have a place, but I, I would never call the heavy a character he's he's a he, you know he's a he's a joke he's a he's a comedy sketch all all the characters on on TF2 are, are Team Fortress 2 yeah is both established and free how the fuck did Overwatch overtake them by doing the same exact thing and charging $60 for it right uh, one, new game by Blizzard, so they had all this publicity. Two, um, TF2 has been out of regular development for years. And, and Valve implemented a policy of letting the community handle it. Okay. So Valve said, you know, oh, you can vote on new maps and you can vote on new items and the community is going to handle it all and we're going to we're going to outsource the entire game to the community. And you know what happened? People stopped playing. Mm. <laughs> because as it turns out, people like moderation and people like, you know, creators creating content. And so Overwatch came around and said, "Hey, we're going to make the game, we're going to continue to develop the game, and we're going to continue adding stuff to the game, and people thought that was worth it. And as someone who has switched to Overwatch, I can tell you that, yes, yes it is. It's nice that if, uh, if a hero is overpowered, knowing that there is a team constantly working on balancing that shit. That is really nice. But once you have everything balanced, you really need the team working on shit. Uh, well, then they can work on new maps. Then they can work on new content. That's when they get to work on other shit. That needs to be balanced and reworked. <laughs> After the $60 to own the games, are there, is there a, is there other way they get their hands in your wallet from, from all the wallet? Yeah, they can. You can they, they have uh, loot boxes and in-game currency, and it's all cosmetic. It's and none of it is okay. pay to win, but it, it still kind of makes me sick. Oh yeah, no, it's still loot boxes and it's bad. We've we've t had this conversation about Overwatch before, which is they are they are preying on people who might have gambling addictions, and they are making a ton of money from it. They are making a a ridiculous amount of money from loot boxes. 
TF2 had hats. TF2 was free! Uh, TF2, though, also had loot boxes. But it was free. At least the base game was free. Yes, that's true. That's true. Charging $60 and then throwing the loot boxes in my face would make me sick. <laughs> uh, loot boxes are optional. That kind of stunk up Rocket League. Uh, Rocket League. By the way, oh, and Rocket League is extra worse because, like, no matter what, you always have to buy a key. In, in TF2, there was a way to grind for keys. I, I was supporting uh, Rocket League when every now and then they'd release new stuff. Yeah. But you'd be able to buy the thing you wanted. Oh, that's a neat car. Yeah. I can buy that car for a buck. Now it's, now it's uh, uh, what is it, a, a five bucks for a crate and a 2% chance of getting the car you want? And I don't give them money anymore. Yeah. I used to just like supporting them because they made a good game. Agreed. They, they pissed that away. Yes. Oh, come Grab the fucking thing. Thank you. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. I don't even give money for DLC anymore that I think I might want. Like, they, they recently had the DC Superheroes DLC with, like, uh, oh, uh, Burton's Batmobile mm -hmm. <laughs> as a car. Like, oh, I could want that, but yeah, no, no. I don't want it that bad. Clean floor. Clean floor. Loot boxes are the way of the future, and I don't much care for it, man. Yeah, this is enough of a blowback on it, but... Uh, oh, uh, d d Battlefront 2 got rid of theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Because of all of the, because of the low sales. It, and it didn't come back? Huh? It didn't come back? Yeah, they've officially unlocked everything in the game. Everything oh, is, hey! It's just there now. Victory! Yeah. Will it be enough to salvage that game? Probably not. Dishonored? Probably not tonight. We're doing this. You guys, I am seriously really into this. I am not joking at all. I kind of love this. I I am dangerously close to having, at very least, the, the yeah. first floor clean, and I am super into this. Well, now I'm hearing, I'm hearing some people saying Battlefront 2 brought the loot boxes back, and other people saying, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. The, 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 an article just came out saying that they've unlocked everything. Okay. So, unless, unless it happened really, really soon. Keep talking about all these games that would be fun to watch. Yeah. Maybe that's a mistake. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Talking about all these games that would be fun to watch us play. I... I get it. I get it. Uh, this is what I'm playing. It's spring cleaning. And I'm cleaning. <coughs> So Dank of the Will says, pitch for you guys. A Jimmy, the Scott Jordan, and Don Beveridge buddy cop movie a la The Nice Guys. I still need to see The Nice Guys. I love Shane Black. Might be a little too much crazy. Jim they can't be cops. Jimmy the who? They can't be cops. Who's the other guy? The the slot machine guy. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. But Oh, you didn't? No, I wasn't there for yeah, that. Well. You missed but out. I, 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 I've, you missed out. I've heard. I don't even know if I got around it. Maybe I need to watch that episode. I don't even know if I watched that episode. I mean, I wasn't in it, so I didn't care. But the the fucking the fucking edged weapons episode. You know what? I don't know if I saw that episode. Because you guys, you guys, we we filmed something right afterwards, and you guys were just talking about it so much, I just felt like I did. I don't know if I saw that episode. Surviving Edge Weapons is the best thing. It's the best thing I, I, we, we have ever seen. Rich, you like you guys talked my ear off about it afterwards. Because it's the best thing we've ever seen. I'm sorry. I don't know if I saw that episode. <laughs> that wasn't facepalm. That was horror. <laughs> 
When it's the mouth, it's horror. I need, so I need to do that. I need to. <laughs> I need to go watch that episode soon. Or 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 just take our copy of Surviving Edge Weapons. <laughs> it's amazing. I'd probably rather just watch the episode. I think my my call is I'm going to dispose of the nuclear waste. That's my. That is my official. MC Lucas says, Jack, you yeah. missed a spot. I missed a couple spots. Uh, I know you're being funny, but uh, I'm being serious. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you notice, there's a bunch of wall spots, which I didn't think I'd be able to get to, but there is a jump-o-matic machine right here. So I'm just kind of getting the base layer clean, and then I'm going to work on, on all oh the my uppers. God. Yeah. So I still have a, a little bit to go here, but I think we're, we're making great progress. I'm really excited about this. Uh, oh, here's another flash drive. I'm, I have a What's the deal with the flash drives? I don't know, but they have names floating over them, so I've been keeping a pile of them over here. Are these Patreon supporters? I, I just don't know. Just been keeping a little, little pile of them. Like there's some spots up there I need to clean still. So we got it. There's a little bit of work ahead of us, but I know what to do now. I think. Put flash drives in the machine at you end up. Okay. You already burned some of them. Right? I burnt one. Unfortunately, which apparently was a big no-no. Okay. Apparently, if you collect them all. Maybe you get the thing. But I already burned one, and there's nothing I can do about that. One thousand plus people watching this. It's sad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wildlife industri industry says, now this is spring cleaning. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, man, I might have broke it. If it, if it weren't for loot boxes, you'd be paying $120 per game. Uh, no, they would do both. Do you think Do you think they're, they're ever going to give up their little gambling magic money? Uh, their, their fountain of free money? No. They, they could lobby. Yeah, no, it's either loot boxes or we charge more. We'll just charge more for the games. Do you think the loot boxes won't just creep right back in anyway? And then you're paying $120 for the game and the loot crates? Think about it for a second. Like this is this is the same bullshit that they pull with with anything. Uh, no, no, we had we have to do this. Uh, we we had we had to automate the system uh, because of, of minimum wage. You know, bullshit. You've automated the system because it's more profitable. Uh, no, the the loot boxes are so profitable to them. They're never leaving. Never. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. Even if they have to sell their games only in Vegas? <laughs> You're getting brainwashed, kid. Bye. Computer. 
They will probably get legislated away at some point. No, big corporations, they don't get things legislated away. They just they just hire enough lobbyists so they buy their way to whatever they want. Hey, have you been to America recently? <laughs> The people who control this country aren't going to make things harder on themselves. If the government cared about the public's interest and and uh, not corporate interests, uh, gun control wouldn't be an issue. That's true, Rich. <laughs> Shit, that's true, Rich. Preach it. <laughs> Gee, what can we do that would save a whole lot of lives? Oh, it's gonna hurt somebody's bottom line. Uh, oh well, you know freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Preach it! <laughs> freedom. Jack, Jack. Sorry, no. Yeah. Jack, you know yeah. that you know even if they ban guns, yeah. the bad people they're just gonna find other ways to commit mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Look at what happened in Austin. Absolutely. I mean, how many people did he kill? Uh, three. Two? Two or three? Oh, just two? Yeah. Over the over the span of weeks. Oh, just two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Over 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 the span of weeks, uh, because uh, as it turns out, it's it's really hard to get all the pieces <laughs> to make bombs, you see. Um I and I you know, I just assumed it would be way more. Right. But but you <laughs> see, uh if if he would have just gone into any store to buy a gun, he could have he could have done uh ten times that damage in minutes. See. Really, that just means that he was ill-prepared. I feel like I need another point. It's not hard to make bombs, Jack. Jesus, fuck. Well, you're, you're missing, you're missing the point. The, uh, the point is that the... Yes, because criminals totally respect gun laws, Rich. Take a look at any country that has reasonable gun control laws and tell me how many fucking homicides happen there. Do their criminals respect the gun laws? Or is it just harder for... It happens here! Yeah. Listen to Rich, he's kind of preaching. Kind of preaching it. I just wish you wouldn't be such an SJW about this, Rich. No, no, no. He's sorry, he's in a mood. He's not ready for that yet. No. Alright, moving on. Nah, preach it. Moving on. You can make the whole stream about that. Oh, c oh come on! That's not nice. Those body parts. Valiant Bloodshot says, What would you think about retroactively using the Sam Raimi Spider-Man in the MCU? I would hate it, because the new Spider-Man is amazing and, and, uh, fucking, uh, what's his, what's his you stupid didn't, you name? You didn't like Toby. Toby McGuire sucked. Yeah. Instead of Tony Stark getting Tom Holland, he goes and finds a retired Spider-Man that he has to call back into action. I would hate that. Because I don't like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, and I kind of love the new Spider-Man. So wait, in your idea is this in this world there was another Spider-Man? Or just undo a Homecoming and Civil War? I don't know. Uh, that seems like a... that Basically, that seems like an, a, a lot of unnecessary dialogue. Like... Ex expository dialogue that that I think we could do without. Uh, yeah, and Tom Holland is, is great, and uh, Spider-Man Homecoming is great, so I don't want to undo any of that.
You want to? Spider-Man 2 is so good, and so is Homecoming. <laughs> Homecoming has a better Spider-Man. Listen, uh, yeah, and Rich doesn't like Toby. I uh, hate him. I will absolutely defend Raimi's Spider-Man's. Spider-Man 2 is a great movie. I think Toby is exactly... Uh, I think Toby was right uh, for, you know, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Spider-Man Homecoming is the best Spider-Man movie, hands down. Mm -hmm. No, like, I'm not disrespecting Raimi Spider-Man's, and I love Raimi Spider-Man's. Homecoming is the best Spider-Man. Yeah. We, ca we yeah. can, it's math, man. <laughs> That's, it's just the way it is. There's no, go there's no going around it. Alright, I got that blood. I should see if there's anything. A stupid thing about guns. Chain the sub. Change the subject before responding to criticism. What? What's the criticism? What's What's your criticism? I just want school kids not to get shot, man. <laughs> Rich, I don't know. That seems like a really harsh thing. I, I I know I know I know they don't have mass shootings in 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 England. That's true. I know that's the thing that doesn't happen there. No, it's a, that's a uniquely American thing. Mass shootings. That's what we got. You know, French has, uh, French people get nice food. Uh, you know, Japanese people have technology. They have a big technology thing. We have, we have mass shootings. I'd like to not be known for that. That would be nice. Can I throw my mop? What do you think? Huh? I know, I know it's up there. France had the nightclub shootings. Does it happen every week? Does it happen? Is it every week? You hear about a new mass shooting to the point now where there are times I just don't know about them before they've gone through the news cycle. It's true. It does not. It does not happen with the same frequency as anywhere else. No. No, but that one time. Yeah, France also had World War Two. Mm -hmm. So you know that one time. So it's all equal. Fuck this amount. Okay, enjoy your echo chamber, man. Bye. That's what I need to do. I tried to move on. You wanted to keep talking about it, now you're leaving. So, oh. fuck off. Oh, how weird. He was just ready to call you out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rich is going to shut it down, but no. Excuse me. Oh, oh, there's... Anonymous says... More. How do I get up there? To Rich and Jack. Just saw some of your recent Dead Rising videos. Here's my pitch for a new game. Classic mechanics from 1 and 2, but the setting, story, characters is a wet-hot American summer crossover. I'm sorry, say that again? Because I'm interested. To Rich and Jack. Yeah. Just saw, just saw some of your recent Dead Rising videos. Okay. Here's my pitch for a new game. Classic mechanics from 1 and 2, but the setting, story, and characters is a wet-hot American summer crossover. So a wet hot American summer dead rising then. Interesting. Um, 
I'm less familiar with Wet Hot American Summer than you are. So this is actually a Jack question. I'm just trying to think of how they would incorporate Wet Hot American Summer, you know, well, is like... it still a zombie game? Right. Well, it'd have to be. Like, basically, are you just saying you want David Wayne to, to rewrite a zombie game, which could also be really fun? Use the lifter, Jack. I ha it's here, but uh, I can't move it. Can I? I don't know. There are probably controls on it to move around, right? Can Does the control panel on the thing let you move? No, I, I lifted it up, but now it's damaged. What? Oh, oh! What? It said it was damaged. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's that's wonky controls. I get it. I get it. Don't worry, everybody. I got it. Jam oh, it's jammed. Why are you jammed? Come down. Come on. So now can I move it? Oh! Well, shit, this is this changes everything. Okay, so hop on. Oh, whoa, it's changing. Did you so know this? It says Ultimazer. Did you know that, right? I, I did. That the world is changing? I did. I've seen the Marvel trailers. It's even changing your Earth. It's changing again. It's changing. For the last time. Joe Kitty 001 says, Hey guys! We thought it was the last time, but it changed again. In Man of Steel, Superman did destroy businesses and did destroy people. Yes. Don Beveridge was right. Don Beveridge is a man ahead of his time. I don't know if it's a different person or just some someone didn't realize their tip didn't get missed, which just took a while to get to it, or two people had the same joke, I don't know. That's very possible. Go! Captain President says, hey, Jack and Rich. Captain President. Give it to me straight. Is Batman's poop half guano? Thanks. No, because he's just a man wearing a bat suit. Right, and not an actual bat. What a rather silly question. Ooh. What a rather silly question. I like it when they make silly questions. Ooh. It does fill me with glee. When they... When they talk silly. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a real problem. Yeah. I, uh, I, have, I have several problems. This is my current problem. I'm working on it, though. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying stuff. I'm trying to work through it. Emma Ruru says, Jack and Rich, I was listening to you guys play cleanup detail on... I was listening to you guys play cleaning. Ugh, God, I was listening to you guys play cleanup detail while at it was hilarious and helped me get through the fact that I was at Walmart. Love you guys. Keep up the funniness. You're welcome. Yeah. There. You know we do. We do our best. We try. Atomic Mousetrap says, The Catwoman-Batman relationship has been going on for a while now. Oh. But I think Jack is right, and it's doomed. Totally Where can the story go that it hasn't gone before? I also said it was doomed. Don't I get credit? Well, I, I gave a specific timeline. Oh, you gave it. Yeah. I, yeah. I, put, I put myself out there, Rich. <laughs> I also said it was doomed. It's, it's on the reboot agenda. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, 
the 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 great thing about Catwoman and Batman is the tease. <laughs> you know, they ooh, you know they want it, but they're from different worlds. It can never be. That's part of the fun. And once you remove the tease, then you know what they're just they're just in a relationship. <laughs> what are they gonna argue about? What are they gonna argue about? <laughs> it's not like they're ever gonna have money problems. <laughs> Atomic Lick says, tell everyone who is complaining to get their own Twitch stream. Basically. Future Future J says, Oh my goodness, politics in a stream? Here's two bucks for sharing your thoughts. Thank you. You're welcome. Every once in a while, it's all right. You know, just, you know, just talk about what's going on. And unfortunately, what's going on is some bullshit. Relatively more pro guns in the past. I was. I, I thought, you know, the Second Amendment. That's that's a slippery slope. Where do we go from there? Wait, I'm sorry. You were relatively pro guns. Once upon a time. Once upon a time in the recent was... recent past. Meaning what? I I don't understand what being pro guns. I mean, I, as well, as well, so, as someone who's pro guns, I'm not understanding uh, what you're talking not, about. Not not in favor of bans. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Yeah. But it just, I'm, it's just too much with the shooting every other every other fucking week. Yeah, yeah. It's it's too much. It's a real problem. It's a real problem. Uh, no, I'm with you. You know, and I, I I really, I really think there is, I really think there is sensible gun legislation to be had. And. For some, for some, and, I, and I'm gonna say for some reason when everyone knows what the reason is, but they have put this this absolute deadlock on any con. Whoa, whoa! Excuse you. He, he threw my. Th oh, fuck you! I can't get up there. They 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 put this deadlock on any even reasonable conversation about sensible gun regulation. And that's the real shit, you know. Like, come on, let's at, let's at least talk. Oh my God, Rich, stop! Why? No. How about that? I, why, why? Why? What's so terrible about what I've said? Uh, why do people freak out when they realize they're not in their echo chamber? I uh, part of it. It might not be that rich. Uh, part of it, you know, we we are an entertainment stream. All right, all right. And so some people might just, you know, come here to get away from that. That could be our our job. But it's, you know, again, it is kind of what's happening in the world. So we're just going to talk about what's happening. Sometimes we're just going to talk about what's happening, guys. And that might mean politics sometime. But that's okay. You know why? The space station is gonna get clean. I'm gonna clean it up. I just got this one Oh little... my god, this is a different area of the same area? Yeah. Oh. This one little alcove up here. Doom guy must have had a double you, jump you ability. Should have brought more buckets. I I'm I'm really hope like I'm I'm gonna have to go back for a another water bucket. Definitely. You can track those footprints all over the no, place. No, no, no. May I mean, maybe, but it's it's going to be manageable. Body parts first, because they create more blood. That's that's number one. The the real shit is if I spill any of these buckets down there. Yeah. 
That's that's where the real shit begins. I don't care about you. Uh, no, that's not where I want to do. There. Slam dunk it. Mexian 120 says, Hello, Jack and Rich. What is the weirdest thing that anyone, fan or not, said to you, and what was your reaction? Thanks. Also, Rich, when Mega Punch Pokemon Part 2? Jack, thoughts on AFI, the band? Uh, the Pokemon thing? Did we lose the, the save files for that? I'm assuming we did. Oh, uh, they might be on this computer. Okay. I don't actually know. I think we've lost the save files to continue that. that it, Otherwise, I would. That's a real possibility. What is AFI? That's uh, a band. They, uh, I believe they would be, probably be uh, described as an emo or possibly screamo band. Um, I've heard of them. Head. You know that's not going to stay on the fucking thing. The I second you go with this. Like, I really want it to. You're going to drop them all over the floor. I, I know that. I would really like it if they all stayed in the bucket, though, because um, if they don't, it's going to create a really big mess for me. Oh, and a flash drive. Oh, here, you, I can, yeah, I can throw you down. All right. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You did it. You fucker, you did it. Oh well, you know I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this negative into a positive. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this bucket and put some items into this bucket. Come on. Okay. Nope. 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 There we go. There we go. We're gonna be smart about this. Okay. Look at that. Boom. All right. Well, we got all the big bits. Gonna, this is going to be a two-tripper. I was really hoping to take care of this in one trip. Slow and steady, Rich. Slow. Fine. It's fine. I only lost... I only lost something. I only lost a bit, little bit. It's fine. It's fine. I felt it's going to look just like it did with your stone. Oh my god, you did not trail footprints all over the place. Yeah, I know. See, it's fine. I told you. Everything's going to be fine. I don't know how that didn't happen. Uh, they're, pro they're probably all by the, the, the cart over there. Okay, okay. Keep going. More buckets. More water. Yeah, see, here they are. They're all over here. Body parts. All right. Um, AFI. I've probably heard them back in the day when I was listening to like punk rock and emo music, but I'm kind of lost for what they sound like now. So sorry. There, I, I went through a, a, a pretty, pretty big punk emo phase. A lot of, a lot of that style of music. Sorry, head. But it's been a bit, if you know what I'm saying. You do. You get it. Here we go. I'm gonna need another bucket of water. Is there a tiny spot of something next to the bucket? No, every once in a while that looks like something, but yeah. it's not. All right. That, that All has, right. That has come up a couple times before. I think I want to bring an extra bucket of water. Come down. I'm gonna get an extra bucket of water. You have more chunks to fell out up there. No, no. I Do think those I... other alcoves have gar garbage too? I, we're gonna find out one alcove at a time. Because if um, I think I'm done after this alcove. I'm really hoping that this is the only bloody alcove. Yes. This appears to be the only bloody alcove, as you can see. What time we got? Uh, it's close to 10. Really? Yeah. That's great. This is a great game. I highly recommend it.
room for me. Up we go. Oh, now I don't have my brick, though. Oh, this time it took me all the way up. That's weird. It gives you, like, random heights. I know, and it disintegrates stuff. I don't, um... Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> I don't know what it does. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Alright, well, I might as well mop a little bit while I'm up here. Let's be smart about this. Move the bucket over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now, now we are cleaning. So it disintegrates bullet holes. <gasps> yes! We needed that. When do you know you're done? That's a great question, Rich. That is a great question. I assume... When you've cleaned everything, you get a little bloop 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 or something. But I don't know. I really, I honestly had not thought that far ahead. Okay. Oh, what environment are we in? Uh, okay. Looks uh, not a space station. Looks terrestrial. Or maybe, you know, we're on a planet that just, you know, looks uh, Earth like. You can leave at any time and it tells you how close you were to perfect. Rock out and get a score. Oh, okay. The game doesn't tell you when you are 100% clean. Oh. Oh, well, shit. Well, then we're just going to do the best we can. You guys go down. Missed a spot on the floor. What do you mean? This is spot on the floor under the bucket. No, I got it all. No, this is spot under the bucket. I saw it. I see you out. I got it all. You didn't get it all. As in 1984 says, hey Jack and Rich. Rich, great job destroying the blood starved beast last summer. I'm at that island on BOTW that strips you naked and I beat it. Yeah, that's a good one. Hard but satisfying afterwards. Keep up the great job! You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, that was a fun little diversion in Best of the uh, Breath of the Worst. Oh, did my tips just crash? Just, just, just vanished. Like a poof. Oh, I'm sorry. Like a poof. Right. Captain President says, Hey, Rich. I, for one, am highly entertained by your political talks. Yeah. So you do you, sir. Non sequitur. But do you or Jack happen to watch any TED Talks? They are interesting, albeit rather short. I'm familiar with them. I've seen a few, but not, not really. Uh, you know, I remember I remember when TED Talks were, were a big deal. Like, they only held... Oh, fuck. You know, they only held them once a year, and it was like, you know, people vying to get in. But yeah. now now it's turned into its own TV network. And there are there are just, like, hobos giving TED Talks on, on how to sew your own quilt out of Dunkin' Donuts wrappers. And, you know, yeah, it's just, eh. <laughs> like, I watched a TED Talk the other day. And it was some guy talking about, like, how we dry our hands when we go to the bathroom in a public restroom. That, that's what his TED Talk was about, right? Yeah. And, and you know, it, it was basically like we, we waste paper. 
we use too much paper uh, drying our hands at public restroom. So here's the proper way to do it. And it was interesting. And, you know, uh, I now know the proper ways to... There was a little blood spot up there, right? You are correct. <laughs> Uh oh, what's wait wait what's up there? No nothing. No, nothing. I thought there might have been another alcohol beacon walk up. Which would be horrible. Yeah, no, I don't think any of these other alcos have any gunk in them. At least I'm gonna assume they don't because I don't want to move this thing anymore. I could not I could not spend this much time doing this. I, I think I could play this for a few more hours I, easily. I'm in the zone. Oh my god. I'm I, I like I I'm not even busting out the special surprise. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll tease people with it before we leave. Uh, oh oh I wanted to check out that laser gun. Does that really get rid of bullet holes? Hold it on the hole for a while. It does look like, yes, it does clean, uh, fix bullet holes. That's genius, Rich. That is fucking genius. Fix the bullet holes, make more mess, but then you fix the bullet hole. Oh, fuck. I'm not going all the way up there. I don't want to go all the way up there to fix my nice damn walls. Fuck. <laughs> So wait, this is the Don't only- Don't hold it down for so long. Well, go, go, go there now! I was like, now I need to fix a, a few more bullet holes just to take care of the mess I made to get my score a little bit better. You have to hold it down for enough to fix the bullet hole. But not enough to start a fight. You know what? I was looking at that thing. Oh, that thing looked like a bullet hole. I have to say, I thought they were just bullets. Yeah, it really does take me. Oh, that's kind of nice. Fix up this wall. There we go. All right. All right. So I can log out. Uh, I can uh, clock off and head for the staff room. Wildlife Industries wants to know, Jack, what bands are you listening to right now? Uh, on the way over here, I was listening to a band called Dream System 8. Yeah. Dream System 8. What it is, uh, the, the, the music editor for shows like Stranger Things and American Horror Story. Not the music maker, the music editor. Yeah. The guy who, like, you know, mixed the music with the, uh the uh the dialogue you know like the the music mixer fell in love with the soundtrack to stranger things so he bought a bunch of electronic equipment and hired a singer to write him some songs and it's just uh it's just fucking gorgeous all right uh Hopefully this doesn't get flagged. 
It's just like it's very Stranger Thingsy. A little too upbeat. It's fine. I think it's great. Uh, I think it's great. They, they want you to save first, by the way. Oh shit! How do I? I haven't saved this entire time. No, you haven't. This all could have been for naught. Turn to staff room. Okay. So where does it tell me? Where does it tell me how good I did? Clock out. I guess you did the wrong thing. You just went back to the menu. There's a clock thing in the game. So load up the game. Start work. There's a clock out thing? I don't know where it is. Shaftika says, hey Rich, the Bloodborne God Evans, and Jack, with all this talk about guns and politics, let's yeah. get to what really matters. What upcoming games are you looking forward to? LOL, suck me fart. I don't even know what's coming out. What's coming up? I don't even know what's coming up. Okay. Uh, my, my options here are leave, which says... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, if you hover over leave, it says clock off and head to the staff room. I'm saying it's on the map. There's a map? I read things. I mean, it's in the map. Is it by the door? What's by the door? Behind you. Wait, I, th I saw some stuff over here. What is this? This. It's on the map. I probably mean in the map, in the game map. I imagine it's by the door behind you. Uh, that would make sense. Try the other side. There's something on the wall. Right here? No, yeah, they're all, they're down, all the way down the hall. Chat! Where is it? Please swipe your card and pull the crank. Oh, oh here we go. Punch out. Has your janitorial work here met the requirements of the company as well as your own high personal standards? Um, I wish I could do more for my company. Give me some paperwork to fill out for extra marks. I am proud of my performance and certain it will make meet with approval. I am proud of my performance and certain it will meet with approval. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a checking out procedure. A punching out procedure. <laughs> Demoted. Oh, man. Oh, but it doesn't give me a... You return to your office after doing the barest minimum asked of you. You know you're going to get some hard-ass inspector complain about your work. Uh, leaving you without any safety equipment. But do you care? You decided instead to crack open a fat man and watch some alien porn on your bitter man 500. Oh, it doesn't give me a... Uh... Oh, this is my office? Oh, okay, here it is. 84%. Two hours, 84%. Oh God. 
Look at my office here. Oh yeah, good. Good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda wanna get a hundo percento on this. Next time! I'm done. Oh look, there's another room. Okay. That's fair. Here, we'll just leave it. Uh, we'll, we'll find a nice picture to leave it on. As we read names. Radio. That's good. Okie dokie. Now is the point of the stream in which we thank all those people who have subscribed to us during this very stream. Oh, hey, look, it's the chat. How'd you get over there? Nope. <laughs> hey, look, it's the chat. How did you get over there? There we go. All right. Let's thank all the people who subscribed to us during this very stream, much like Voodoo, Mama Ganza. They are 77 for 26 fucking months in a row. Uh, boop. Sorry. Long live the chief and long live prereq. Bed wetter media one. Beer coaster for eighteen months in a row. Dosmo Pizo. Loopy dog one. Brown ace. Brownies. Brownies. I think. Heliosphere nineteen sixty nine for twenty two fucking months in a row. Farmer Phillips, who says it's been six months and I finally figured out how to add a message. Cheers. Thanks. Pinkled Rennis. Ooh. I get it. You get it? Wrinkled penis. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Juave. Or Chuave. Schwave. Schwave. I think. Tuneric Mac. Oh, Tunery Mac. Tunery Mac. The names are hard, and you guys have weird names. Stormwatch 21. Generic German Gamer. Gaming Unicorn, who says, Hi, guys. Just wanted to say, keep up the good work. Cleaning. Keep up the good cleaning work. Uh... <laughs> Mr. I love the ants says, 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 first day of spring, my ass. I mean, it's, it's kind of the first day. Of, well, t today's the second day of spring. It's pretty, it was pretty cold today, too. Technically. 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 Uh, we'll go back to real games <laughs> next week. It'll be great. But Kerwais, who says, Twitch app said it's my two month anniversary. So here's my message. It wants me to type. Huzzah. Smithy McCrickets. My good karma. Legend Beetle. Total Lamer, who says, I'm sure you're both totally comic booked out and you've talked about it already, but watched any of the Netflix series? Any of the Netflix series. Oh, movies. any of the comic yeah. book Netflix series. I, I was waiting for... Uh, right, right. The, the one yeah, they yeah. want to... Yeah. Uh, I just watched uh, Jessica Jones season one and two and appreciate the different tone and lower stakes compared to the movies. Absolutely. I talked about this a little bit... Uh, They're fun. ...on uh, the other day. I think Jessica Jones is top. Is top of the top of the, the marks as far as the Netflix Marvel shows I, go. I enjoyed Daredevil. I mean, I haven't watched... Actually, I, don't, I haven't watched any of the other ones. Daredevil was fine. That was good. Daredevil was fine. Daredevil season one is right up there, man. Daredevil season one is good action schlock. But Jessica Jones is actually trying to, you know, say something. And I dig that. Uh, um, and I don't know about everyone else, but I am not comic booked out. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know if I'll ever be. Machine Gun Funk for 23 fucking months in a row. More. You know why, Rich? Why? I love sci-fi. Yeah. And I love action. Yeah. And that's all a comic book is. It's just sci-fi action. Like, kind of. I, every, I, every, everyone. Well, except for Batman, I guess. But even him, he builds gadgets. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Is that sci-fi action? Of course. It's mystical arts and shit. That's not that sci-fi. It's magic. Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy action. Well, I also, I'm not a big fan of Doctor Strange or when... Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. Fair uh, enough. When they get too out there with the with the gods and the powers. 
A machine. Oh boy, you did that one. Ben Vereen. Turd smugglings for 13 months in a row. Says thanks for way more than 13 months of entertainment, you fucks. Gentleman Bears for 12 months in a row. Who says, holy shit, 12 months. What the fuck am I doing? Apparently... Uh, having proper manners and dressing appropriately in the woods. <laughs> Gentlemen bears. Gutter stars for 27 fucking months in a row. Sent a cute little smiley face thing. Oh, that is very cute. Emblematic pop. Who says, if you like synth power pop, funk from outer space, listen to Sir Video. Thanks, my little whopper buttons. Justin Killer Ear. Yeah. Yeah. Molecular Lionel. Molecular Lionel is probably how that is <laughs> right. pronounced. Molecular Lionel. Alpaca Death Trap for 13 months in a row. Banus Mc... Banus McManus. Shagahad 1897 for 13 months in a row. Says, you frauds took all my money. Thanks for the laugh, gentlemen. I appreciate it. We, we do what we can. Reanimated bit. McNubbins 182. Says, Jack, as a yes. fellow Left 4 Dead fan... Mm -hmm. I must tell you to try the three-player co-op event Outbreak currently on Rainbow Six Siege. And it's April 3rd, and I have no idea why. Stream it with Rich and take one of us along for the ride. You will not regret it. I might regret it. Let's get Eddie to rumble for 17 months in a row. So 17 months? When does the fucking happen? And few. Yeah, give me, give me a moment. Blonsky Bros says ten months is almost a year, but it's not. Quinsomniac, who says woot woo to woo oot. Almagus twenty seven. Angelise Val says, My hammer dealt the finishing blow on her, is what I just came into. Love this channel. I'll find that later. I'll find that later. Where are you? Destro the third. There we go. Morbos 1000 for 18 months in a row. Disco General. Uh, Georgie, 17, 891. Sir Danketh of Whale says, move over Apollo 13. There's a new Ron Howard space movie in the house. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. No, it's gonna suck. But it was a different movie at one point. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, the movie is gonna suck. Yeah. The behind the scenes drama as it unfolds is going to be interesting. When or if you hear about it. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's what I'm saying. Uh, do, 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 true. Xenu. David. For, oh, sorry. For 12 months in a row, who says, wow, one year. I thought it lapsed. Gotta love Twitch Prime student rate. Everyone subscribe. It's free, you fucks. Thank you. David, I know people. Bugbear one. Custos Deliri 90. Yeah, BKJ Studio. Atomic Lick. Might be Lich. Yeah. Uh, a C? Yeah. I mean, a T in there? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jens 7282. Don Buckwald. Beat that game. Tucker Brash says, yeah, seven months. Can't wait to see what you fucks clean next. So many, so many cleanings. Emma Ruru. Ego, Ray, Ego Rhyme, I think. Mm, nice, yeah. 
Congo Jack. Dougie Fresh, 117. The End Hero. Auto Jest for 18 months in a row. Says, love the stream. Keep on keeping on. Jack, I am a Zenyatta, Zenyatta ma main. Yeah. Oh, that's an Overwatch thing. Yeah. But I recently started playing Doomfist. He walks the razor's edge. But when you start landing the combo, it feels great. I've heard. Uh, you know, whenever whenever it's uh, Overwatch does this really great thing is while it's searching for a game for you to join. If it takes too long, it just kind of dumps you in a empty place and you can run around as a character and, and play around. And whenever I'm in that area, I always pick Doomfist to practice. Very interesting character. I don't have him down yet, but yeah, I agree. Doomfist has a, it could be a lot of fun. Bees in my eyes. A pickler tickler. A pylon. Walt Heisenbeard for 42 motherfucking months in a row. Who says, as Dave Chappelle said in his recent Netflix special, speak freely, speak recklessly, or my kids might never know what that means. Speak freely, speak recklessly, or my kids might never know what that means. I don't understand that quote out of context. But Walt Heisenbeard says, thank you, Rich. You're welcome. You're welcome. And All right. That's it. Have a nice night, everyone. Wait, wait. What? The surprise I was going to show. Oh, oh, yeah. Ready? Ready? See what it is? Is that a Nintendo 64? It's just the controller? Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd just bring the controller. Was I supposed to bring the whole game? Yeah, we could, have, we could have been playing Diddy Kong. I brought two controllers. We, we could have both been playing it. Thank <laughs> you.